Hello, Princess Casserole here, and I'm here. Um, I wanted to do a video, it's promised, um, that is a layering, styling video. Um, I have a couple items, and I'm going to try to mix them up and make them make a great look together um, by mixing different colors, textures, hopefully, um, and well, still keeping the same theme. Um, I am going to put them on a, a mannequin instead of myself for right now. Um, but I wanted to play and just kind of see what came out of this. See if I can find some nice looks or if it would just be a big old mess um, and not in a good way. So you guys can let me know. We'll kind of play together. And um, this is going to be gold tone um jewelry and maybe if you guys like this one we'll do another one in silver tone and i just i thought this would be fun and just items that i really like um and i don't know we'll just experiment and see if we can find something that we love and have fun um i hope you guys enjoy Please comment, subscribe, share, invite anyone um, that might have fun with jewelry right now with us. And otherwise, I want to know what your favorite of these looks are, if you like them, um, if you want me to do another video in silver tone or try something else, maybe do it in vintage. Or like what I like to do is mix vintage and modern. That's what I really enjoy because I like taking things that are vintage and making them look modern. Be able to walk out the out of the house and not look like I'm wearing a costume. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. I love dressing head to toe vintage sometimes too. Um, but I thought this might be fun and um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. So I'm going to start with like cream tones and gold tones. This is a beautiful Napier necklace. And I'm going to try this guy. Um, things that are varying lengths um, will work out nice, I think. And also these little anchors, this one, we can leave it long or double wrap it. We'll kind of see what we like at the end. I did want to see it. So I think like if you wanted to do a little less here it could be like that. Ah. <laughs> and there are ways to extend these. I feel like I would like to extend this. I mean, I kind of like just this for right now. Let's see. I like Uh, this one's Liz Claiborne, by the way. If you're going to do something like this, I like it wrapped around the neck. And then one around like that. Um, I think that's nice. Because when you put this one on, I don't like this because it's too close to this one. So if I could extend it a little bit where it would be like this would be so perfect or like that um, and I'm trying to look I know there's ways so one of the one of the things I like doing with layering is you can always take a bracelet too this one has this but like oh, I guess I can even work here um, and put it together 
Again, this one doesn't look, work great just because you want the tones to be nice together. But I like how you can make a bracelet, um, make a necklace longer with adding a bracelet to it and make it look totally different. Um, some clasps are more decorative and it works nicer um, or with like a smaller clasp, but I like, I like the way you can play with that. Um, I am going to go get the extender. I will be right back. So in another way you can extend things or put things together is by using a safety pin. Um, this is one of the pin pins or a brooch. And put it through. And I like the way that this looks with the, the pin on, or if you wanted to add like a little brooch or accessory, you can do that with this too. You know, like, let's say we have this together and You just add it like this. It's a cool look. Um, or like if you had a charm on here too. And there's the ones that are more plain that are like this, that are heavy duty. So I am going to use this one, I think. To extend this. So now this looks nice. Um, But we need something here then. See, I do have a lot that are this length. It's not long enough. Hmm. Again, you always want to make sure it's the right tones, too. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like this. Again, it's always going to look better on a real neck, obviously. Um, but it's hard to do this <laughs> when you're when you're on camera. Um, and the golds aren't perfect, but I think it still looks really nice. And I like the different lengths. Um, they all complement each other and I think it looks really nice. So here I will zoom you in. So I really like the way this one turned out. So I would say this is look number one and this one's Monet, Napier, Liz Claiborne, and No Name Brand. But I like the tone of it. It's really neat. Um, Sorry, I don't have a plain mannequin to show you guys, but I do really like this one. So, number one.
so the next one, let's see, I wanted to do a gray tone look. Um, this one is J. Crew. This one I think is a no name brand or Avon. nice so far hmm. now I need something here and actually this this could look nice there again that's a really nice look have this hematite one no this is too heavy like it's literally too heavy but it's also too heavy of a look Black would be too much. <laughs> it's loud. Try this guy. That's nice. Oh yeah, I like that one. That's a really pretty look. I like that. So here, we'll show you guys up close. So this one's got, um, I think this is also a Liz Claiborne, Avon and J. Crew. So, you know, if you had just a plain shirt, again, I'm sorry that the background is so loud. Um, probably actually put something over it um but for now we'll go with it <laughs> um i like this look actually the nice plain white tank top or a gray tank top and the, the tones all look really nice together and i really like how this one turned out <laughs> I like it. So that's number two. So we did a cream and a gray. And now we're going to do a black and gold. And it helps if you put things in color black. really pretty and you know when you have adjustable ones play with the line and play with what is first I kind of like that. Actually, I didn't think I would. <laughs> so this is black number two, or black number one look. I do really like that. And 
It's got a nice Betsy Johnson. That's what this piece is. And this one is no name. And so is this one. So very nice. Let's see. I'll try something else. A little fancier. Now, I do like the Y necklace. We could try this. Ha! I like that. So, um, hopefully you guys can see this. So, you can knot your um, necklaces together. And I like this because this has a Y necklace and then this knotted kind of brings it again. And so I do really like that. Or you can do that with the steps again. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. I don't think. I think you need a longer gold one. This one is so nice. I don't, I think this one's a no name, but. That's neat. I like that too. Let me try to make this guy longer. How can I do this? Oh, you know what's cute too? I could also try this. So I'm just playing with volume, layering, you know, there's a lot here, but I like it. It's really cute. I don't know. I think it's just fun. It's fun. I just... I like to have a little bit of fun when I'm doing this. Actually, I think you can see it very nice. Try some color. Mm -hmm. 
I like this. And layering doesn't have to be many layers. It can be one. Oh, I like that. I like, cause they're the same kind of texture. Here, um, with the like braided look. I like this one, it's not too much. It's nice, nice colors. very wearable. Hmm. I think it's cocktail time. Now this one is Avon and it is very pretty and I have two of them. So you can always layer two of the same necklace. So it's, it's different colors and that looks so nice together, just the two, right? Um, or, you know, if you have two, you can layer them differently like that. So if you really do like, and you have a long necklace, you can definitely do stuff like this. I think that's such a pretty necklace. And it's Avon, it's inexpensive. Um, it's got a really cool design and the bezel set crystals. I really like this one actually, very pretty. So this is the next look. That's basically two of the same necklace. I absolutely love this. I don't know why I haven't, this is so classy. It looks modern and it's it's vintage it's vintage um avon it's really nice looks nice either way so again that's another idea if you're stuck on layering what you can do um i need a nice <laughs> stand here so I'm going to do one in silver tone too. We're going to figure out eventually how to layer these up with stuff too. All right. So with this one, I have two beautiful vintage Murano glass necklaces. Look nice layered together. Um, sorry about all the noise. So you can put that on top or on the bottom. Uh, I don't love that. I think I would put that with something else. I like these so far. Um, I did find these beads quite a while ago. I think there was one missing on this strand. I have no idea. I have no idea what these ones are made out of. They're heavy as all get out. I think they're glass, but they're also like lead or something i don't i don't know i've never seen beads like this but i thought this could be nice no i don't like it do really like these beads though. If anyone knows what these are, let me know. It's really heavy. You know what? I kind of just like this the way it is. Let's see if we can put this that and then put these in with it.
No, I don't like that either. I love this. This choker on its own is super nice. Really heavy. You know that to work with just these. I like threes of things. With decorating, oftentimes there's like a rule of three. You have three vases together, you have three flowers together, um, and it looks really nice. So I do like, I like that. Um, but we can also just put some gold with it too. I think this could work. Yeah, that looks nice too. But this is like a nice little black pair. And the last one I wanted to do is with this. And I have this in my Etsy shop. It is not Swarovski, but um, it's crystal. I think it might be Australian crystal. Yeah. Woo! That's lovely. <laughs> This would look so nice on like a black t-shirt or with a little black dress, um, with little crystals. That is super nice. I love this guy. Um, so these are, I think this one's Swarovski, bezel set, black and white crystals. It's either that or Australian Crystal. I think this one's Australian Crystal, and then we have that crystal. Um, so that just looks really nice and feminine and beautiful, and I love this one. I think this one's my favorite so far. It's probably the most expensive one, too, out of all of them. But I like how shiny this one looks. So... Um, I don't know if you guys enjoyed this, if it was hard to see, uh, you know, I'm trying. Um, I thought this mannequin would be better. Next time we can, I can probably put a little plain shirt on her um, for you guys just to do it a little bit, a little bit better. But um, this is fun. I <laughs> really like doing this um it's making me really creative um and I think it is a very cool idea on how to wear it um I'm in love with this guy <laughs> like I said no two of these are in my Etsy store I have to add this one in there too not that I'm trying to peddle anything I just had an idea when I found this one in the bag that I would grab the other two and it would look really nice together and that's why I like these ones because they do layer up really beautifully and in the light oh my goodness these sparkle everywhere beautiful so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please comment like thumbs up do all the things and uh I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Oh, that's strong. Is it only gin? No. Is it mostly gin? Yes. <laughs> it's two and a half shots of gin, a half ounce of lime juice, and a half ounce of simple syrup. Wow. Yep. It's a gimlet.